The craziest thing just happened to me. It was last year around Christmas in October. I was driving home from work in my room walking around and my sister, my stepsister, she gave me this painting right but she drew it in Spanish, so I couldn't even hear it. And it was actually so loud that I went blind. So I told her that I needed some watermelon because my favorite color is seven on God. Then she got stuck over a table and she got like pregnant with her first kid again for the third time. And that's why you should treat others the way you want to be treated. You're welcome for listening. The wildest thing just happened to me. It was next week in 2013. I was sitting in bed outside on my way to school and I saw this girl that I've been crushing on since second grade when I was a grandpa. I really wanted her to be my girlfriend, so I rejected her because I'm honestly not into guys, though we lived happily ever after. You're welcome for watching. The most insane thing just happened to me. It was last year, January 35th, in the middle of September. I was in English class learning the multiplication table when the teacher called on me. I just had a sip of water, so I quickly chewed it up and answered her. She told me to stand up, but I accidentally stubbed my toe on the ceiling. My arm hurt so bad my leg was starting to bleed. The nurse needed to give me a huge, really tiny ice pack. It helped a little, but it made me feel really hot, so I had to put on five different jackets. You're welcome for watching. The saddest thing just happened to me. It was March 5th on April 17th. My fish decided to buy me a puppy for my birthday. But since my birthday is sometimes in the middle of the summer, the weather was absolutely freezing. I was hoping the puppy wouldn't get soaked in the rain because the sky was really clear and sunny. Unfortunately, the puppy arrived to my house safely and I happily greeted it with a big frown on my leg. It was really crazy seeing how huge the small puppy was. I could barely even hold it up with my nose. That's why you should never give up on your dreams. You're welcome for watching. The scariest thing just happened to me. It was tomorrow on Friday, a few days ago. I was running away from home in my room because I hated the outdoors. I ran downstairs to get a higher view to make sure no one was smelling me. Then I jumped through a wall so loudly that no one heard me. The moon was out this morning, so it was really hot. I almost turned into a banana. Fried chicken has always been really good to drink. You're welcome for watching. I had the craziest Christmas ever. I just woke up tomorrow under my bed in my car from a quick 30 hour nap. Then I walked up the stairs to go downstairs to check the presents. There were so many new presents, I counted all zero of them. And since I'm an only child, my sister wanted me to share it with my older baby brother. Then I quickly took a shower in the kitchen to wash my eyes with soap so I could see Santa and ask him what he wants for Halloween. And I'm honestly still really sad that my car got ran over by a dog. You're welcome for watching. The coolest thing just happened to me. I was walking my bird on winter break in September when I decided to go buy some groceries from the Apple store. Suddenly, my stepsister called me on her phone charger and told me that my fish drowned. I quickly flew back home and saw my fish cartwheeling around my room. And then I dyed my hair pink because my favorite color is green. That's why whales are always so small. You're welcome for watching. The creepiest thing just happened to me on Christmas. I was sleeping in my bed on the roof while being awake waiting to wake up and my nose started hurting because I heard a really loud quiet sound. A man was trying to sneak out of my house through the walls but since I'm blind I saw him right away. I jumped from the first floor all the way down to the second floor and slapped him with my pinky. He died immediately but he was still breathing. Then I realized it was Santa Claus. He was trying to steal my presents to eat them. I lost my breath but I found it later in my car. Merry birthday and a happy April Fools. You're welcome for watching. The worst thing just happened to me. I was watching YouTube on my calculator when I realized I forgot to feed my car. 
I ran insanely fast at 2 miles per hour just to feed it. Then I had to do my homework because I already finished it tomorrow. It tasted so good. Some of my friends came over to hang out and talk, but I'm deaf, so I decided to listen to some music instead. And that's why you should microwave apples. You're welcome for watching. I had the craziest New Year's ever. It was in the middle of the year a few days ago. I was in my bed swimming in my car on the way to a house party. The house was so crowded there was literally nobody there and the music was so loud I could barely even see anything. But then I saw my crush standing on the ceiling looking directly at me. I went to stand next to her about 20 feet away and when the clock hit 12 it was 4pm. You're welcome for watching. I just had the most insane start to 2021. It was last year on New Year's before Christmas. I was on summer break at home on my way to school and my neighbor started barking at my dog, so he flew away. I decided to go home and water my shower so it doesn't die again for the first time. And since I'm single, my girlfriend called me and told me I was pregnant. I was so scared because I didn't know if my son was a boy or a girl or if I was gonna be a mom or a dad. Well anyways, my new year's resolution is to go to the gym, but it didn't work out. <laughs> you get it? Me neither. You're welcome for watching. I had the worst start to 2021. It was last year on Thanksgiving a few years ago. I was watching TikToks on my TV remote when I looked outside and saw my brother watering the microwave. I wanted to go outside because I love staying indoors, but there was no gas in my skateboard. And since my phone was dead, I called my wife to ask her if she wanted to be my husband. She told me that her dad was 11 months pregnant and that I was going to be a grandson. You're welcome for watching.